And as you saw a short time ago, the ceremonies got underway with a fleet of waka representing, representing North Island tribes coming into the viaduct. Let's take a look. Uh, it is a stunning day here in Auckland. We're just trying to get that clip for you. 23 waka made their way into the viaduct. And out front was a sailing waka, the Te Oriri. On board that were 20 to 13 17-year-olds. We're just getting that vision for you now. On board that was representing each country competing in this Rugby World Cup. We have a few problems with that vision at the moment. We'll try to bring that to you shortly. As that waka came in, New Zealand's Dave Dobbin greeted our international visitors on acoustic guitar singing Welcome Home. Now, I've just been told we don't have that either. Things are running both set of breaks. We're just going to take a quick break to get ourselves sorted, but stay tuned. Remember, TV1 has full coverage of this opening event going right through till late tonight. You Another lady. What? Oh, 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 the fans are still excited, though. Oh, no, sorry. I can't help it, mate. They're just uh, very excited, even though there have been delays on the public transport here. As Rebecca said, the big thing is the big screens. They're all waiting to see at 7.30 that ceremony kick off. Dan Blair. Thanks very much, Lisa. Well, I'm here at the Octagon where Dunedin is about to get its Rugby World Cup party underway. And you might be able to hear a few people in the background there starting things off. Uh, that's the students, as you know. But uh, things have been a little bit quiet here this afternoon, just building up. But just in the last couple of hours, the people have started to get off work. Things have filed in here into the uh, Octagon. You can see some of our party goers here as well. Just two and a half hours ago, viewers around the globe witnessed the spectacular Eden Park opening ceremony. And among the crowd, we're hoping to go to Jack Tame. Jack, how was that for an opening ceremony? Now, Jack's having problems there. It is, of course, very noisy down at the game. <laughs> Mike, I, I honestly can't hear a word that you just said. But welcome to... This is the beating heart of Rugby World Cup 2011. If you're not at Eden Park tonight, this is the place where you've got to be. This place is absolutely magnificent here in the cloud. Obviously, she's excited. <laughs> believe, it or not, believe it or not, there are some All Black supporters here as well. But I can tell you that during the day, this is very different. It's a great showpiece for what New Zealand has to offer. But tonight, this is going to be the place to be. It's a fan zone. It's absolutely perfectly kitted out. We've obviously got the big screens behind us. There's bars everywhere and, and great places to watch rugby. And lots of fans. So hop on down and, and join on in. And Blair? Well, uh, yeah, you might call me glutton for punishment coming back live after uh, our last affair, but things actually have built up in the last couple of minutes, and uh, let me just show you some of the fans who we do have in the city at the moment now. Of course, uh, in Dunedin, the big game this week isn't the All Blacks versus Tonga, it's actually England versus Argentina, and these are some of the kind of uh, people that we've been coming into, into town. Uh, of course, they're going to add plenty of colour to tonight's proceedings as well, but the big one for them is tomorrow night. Do, dare I ask uh, who's going to win the Rugby World Cup, chaps? Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for the Caribbean. And may I also ask? Sweet chariot, coming for the Caribbean. Brilliant. I, I think that pretty much says it all. It sure does. Thank I'm you very much, Blair. Scrum. And I couldn't help but notice little Mark. You'll see he's got the gorgeous... Oh! <laughs> 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 guys, 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 shh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hi, yeah, we're at Party Central here on Queen's Wharf, which is absolutely packed. But I just need to bring you a quick transport update before we go any further. All the ferries between Auckland and the North Shore have now been cancelled. The Tonga fans have been marching down. It's supposed to be a brass band coming down. So as you hear, they're in fine voice. All right, settle down, boys. That's what it's been like down here, Mike. A little bit out of control. And the occasional ringing as well. The All Black fans need to raise their voices a little bit too. 
Uh, but yeah, steady stream of Tongan fans, steady stream of black fans coming in. Now you have to, you have to make your own way to the game now as well. Moira here has been waiting since 11 o'clock. <laughs> Are you Tongan? No. <laughs> Where are you I'm from? I'm not Tongan, but I'm Māori, but I love Tonga. <laughs> Moira, what's going to happen in this game tonight? Tonga is going to win. Nicola, what do you think about that? Bloody marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, this is going to be, uh, what, a six weeks of very long party. Do you reckon you can handle it? Yeah. Uh, so hopefully they're going to sort that out because you want the IRB boss to be at the uh, opening ceremony. I don't know if you can hear me, actually, Mike. I can see it. Besides this gentleman here. Oh, look, I'm just wanting to see some great all-black action. Now I'm going to pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good time. Let's go back to you, Mark. Let's see if we can get Matt out of here in one piece. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed no one was grabbing you, Mark Kreisel. Just matches in there. Look, thanks, guys. Well, Tony Reid is down at the clouds at the Auckland waterfront, and it's packed full of fans down there. Tony, what's the latest? It's like it's dialing up. Hello, Tony. You might have got buried in all those people. Jeff, can you just tell them I've lost? No, it sounds like we might have... Oh, there All he goes. Right. OK, uh, we are live again from Keith Street. Now, if you're to imagine this place as a stadium... And the cloud's going to be open sometime after the match, isn't it, Andrew? So what's police and security saying about, uh, about um, security at the cloud tonight? Sorry. I couldn't hear anything you said there, Mark, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll let you get away and enjoy the Finn Brothers. to Bond Street, if we can make it through this crowd of people. Now, it's slightly chaotic, as you can see, but that's what happens when you get a camera out at the opening ceremony. But we will touch base with you in about a kilometre or two, and hopefully it'll be a bit more quiet. Tony, thank you, and I hope we've got a GPS on Tony. We don't want to lose him tonight.